I found it in feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into blue phase, baby. Um, ooh, it's just it just don't get no better for this boy. Uh, before we even get into it, um, I know that he got away. I don't want to say got away, but he did. You know, chitty chitty bang bang. Somebody in the hand. Cub was upset about it. Okay. Um, he felt as though justice wasn't served, you know, things like that, which I kind of disagree with because I feel like he shouldn't have never went to, he shouldn't have went to try and check blue face. He shouldn't have went to try and, first of all, you don't pull up in your car talking about you looking for anybody. Cause I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and do that and ask questions later. Cause I'm not even about to, what am I waiting to ask a question about? By that time you've been, I got me up out of here. I got a family to go home to. So I'm with him on that. But when he got off, everybody was like, damn, how he get off? Yeah, he got off with him. You know, two black men going against each other for a court. That's like amazing, you know? And I say that because he owes now $13 million. Okay? $13 million to the club. Euphoric Gentlemen's Club. Okay, Nevada verse um, Jonathan Jamal Porter. Okay, I'm going to read this title. Blueface Baby has been ordered by Los Angeles, excuse me, Las Vegas court to pay $13 million. So this ain't even, he didn't already went to court for this. Blueface Baby has been ordered by Las Vegas court to pay $13 million in a new lawsuit for damages caused by his actions during a shooting incident outside of Euphoric Gentlemen's Club, Las Vegas, uh, back in October 2022. All right. Blueface is sentenced to 24 to 60 months in prison for grazing a man's hand during a shooting outside of Las Vegas Strip Club in October of 2022. The judge gave him a suspended sentence, which, you know, basically he uh, get to stay at home. But if uh, you get tested for pee, you go into jail. If you get caught at a traffic stop, you going to jail. If you even breathe wrong, you going to jail. So uh he took he took that deal. Um and the maximum of 60 months of probation. So the max he got to basically serve, which is 5 years. He can't do nothing. Nothing. So they said, "Do you think he got off easy due to his celebrity status?" No, I'm going to tell y'all what I think before we even read this, this, uh, the district court versus Jonathan Porter. I think that they knew that they was going to get a bag out of this one way or the other. And instead of putting him in a jail, cause uh, granted they can get money by putting him in prison, but not enough. You get what I'm saying? So I, this is uneducated. I don't know. Assumption. Uh, 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 what, what we call it? Uh, uh, allegedly. I think that they said they was going to get his black ass one way or the other. <laughs> That's what I think. They was going to get him one way or the other. So it's like, all right, if we put him in jail, if we put him in prison, I mean, he can't make money no more. If he can't make money no more, he can't help us. You know what I'm saying? So... The club was probably like, yo, what the fuck going on? I ain't, uh-uh. It was like, all right, all right, chill out. We're going to do this together. <laughs> and like I say, this is just a legend, child. I'm just giving y'all my opinion. But um, they absolutely did him dirty in this situation right here. He think he got off $13 million and five years of probation on top of the dude who got shot. I don't think Blueface had to pay for his hospital bills or nothing. Now, granted, that was on him, though. I, I truly just feel like you shouldn't have never went back to him and, like, went up to his car. You don't go up to nobody's car talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you bought that shit. See, he fucked around and he found out. You get what I'm saying? That's what happened with him. But anyway, so that is uh, what happened with uh, Mr. Porter. So... We're going to read this. This court, having granted plaintiff SG Enterprises LLC, which is the company that is um, 
basically going to fix whatever damages, whatever said damages. Uh, and declar declaratory relief, third claim motion against Jonathan Jamal Porter, a.k.a. Blueface Mr. Porter, and entered the minute order granting the motion on October 16, 2023, and having entered the order granting motion for a summary judgment against defendant and good cause appearing. Therefore, it is hereby order a, a judged and decreed that judgment be entered in favor of plaintiff and against Mr. Porter to claims for nuisance. First claim, um, indemnification. All right. These words is big child. and contribution. Second claim and declaratory relief. Third claim in plaintiff's complaint. It is further ordered, uh, a judge and decree the judgment shall include the following award of specific relief as follows. Basically, this is th this was the problem, and this is what he going to get rewarded, or, or the club is going to get rewarded. You caused all this shit, so this is what the club is going to reward. I mean, the uh, Las Vegas is going to reward the club. All right, uh, the plaintiff is seeking uh, basically money for the damages, lost revenue, and lease damages in the total amount of $13 million, uh, $72,482. All right. So also y'all forgot to tell y'all that they lost that club. I forgot to tell y'all the club is gone. So ever since his shooting, the club is no longer. Did I forget to include that? He can't, he's not even going to cancel the in-home studio girl. Cause he already paid for it. <laughs> That's already done. He already he already spent that hundred bands. I mean, um, excuse me, hundred thousand. So that club is shut down. I've got to include that. So that's what they mean by um uh loss of revenue. So damages and loss revenue, which is so the damages was twelve thousand six hundred dollars. That wasn't shit. Uh, the lease damages, which is what I think because they had to leave that building or whatever, um, which would have been 240,000, uh, because they probably had to leave the building because it was a shooting. Like they might've had a, a, an agreement, like, listen, y'all can rent this out. Da, da, da. However, if it's a shooting, bitch, you out. All right. Um, and that, by the way, it sounds, or by the way, it looks, that makes sense. Lease damages, an amount of $198,000. That lease damages sound like basically they broke they broke rules or, um, like I said, because it's a shooting. This is alleged. I don't know. Um, plaintiff's damages, $240,000 in arson ransom. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Um... Utilities, 6400 um, Unpaid payroll relating to employees who had to be paid after the closure, $84,000. Uh, sales, sales tax due based on two months of sales, which means they lost two months of sales, $61,000. Insurance to cover the vacant building, still $17,000. Cleaning, security, and internet. <laughs> oh, my God. For the property, $7,000. Triple net landlord expenses, including property tax, annual sewer service. Bitch, you paying for a club. This nigga got to pay for the whole club that he ain't even going to be able to use. Internet is petty. I'm not going to lie. The internet was petty. All right. Uh, and that's $19,000. The repair and maintenance is $32,000. I feel like them niggas just threw anything together. What? What is it? Say something. Uh, payroll. I bet $99,000. What, what, what is it? So shout it out. The bathroom plumbing. Plumbing. $20,000 fucking dollars. What else, nigga? Say something now. The bottom of the bar. The bottom of the bar. $200,000. Do you hear me? $200,000. Y'all, they charging a man for trash. 
Trash services, 1900. Liquor, 520. Leases for the CO2, which is the carbon monoxide, and the POS, $2,000. Unrelated legal fees. What the fuck is an unrelated legal fee? Just call it out. Unrelated legal fee. Bet we'll make that 2500 Okay. <laughs> Bitch, they have more. Damages in the amount of 34000 for the following pending invoices, including invoices for a trip, triple net lease for the property tax. <sighs> Y'all get the point. $13 million for a club that he don't even own. I am behooveth. Okay. If I was him, I would be sick. You know how that nigga like, the other day he was like, I'm rich. You know what I'm saying? I got it all. Blah, blah, blah. The, Blueface is the prime example of Don't take what you got for granted. He's the prime example of here today, gone tomorrow. He's the prime example of, like, don't tell everybody on the internet how much money you're making. <laughs> like, don't. This nigga, I'll never forget Jaden coming to Miami because I think he went out there first by himself, and then she brought $100,000. For what? <laughs> like, what do we need $100,000 in cash? Mind you, he be by himself. What do we need a hundred thousand in cash for? Then he tells the internet he got a hundred thousand. Y'all, that's y'all friend. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Krishan dodged the bullet. Oh, he gonna be back with Krishan in a minute, trying to get that money. And this explains why he kept trying to take her damn money. Cause I don't know how long he been going to court for this. But girl, thirteen million. That nigga need every dime he can get. That also makes sense as to why he's about to get Jaden signed. But damn, he gonna have to take. I mean, she ain't gonna. She's not about to get like a major deal. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. This was a bit much. I, somebody just sent it to me. Shout out to y'all. All y'all who always send me everything that you send me. I be seeing it. I be trying to get to it as fast as I can. I appreciate y'all. Girl, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do y'all think this is karma? Okay, do you think this is karma for all the hell he is putting every woman he love through? Okay? He, all the women he love, he putting them through hell, aside from Jaden at the second. Okay? Then the nigga can't smoke. Oh, he can't smoke and drink this pain away. I completely forgot. He's on probation, and I don't know if he put them two bottles of, uh, I don't think he put that on his story. But, like, he got to stop showing everybody he be drunk and shit. What the fuck? Like, my nigga, you got, nigga, you blow wrong. And you know what, y'all? They might not take his ass to prison if he so much as sneeze wrong because they need that 13 million. Ooh, girl, that's messy. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot going on with that. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. I have so many thoughts on this. Like, it's a lot. Oh, uh, damn, I didn't mean to do that. It's a lot that I'm thinking. Um, With that one right there, y'all. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.